So you're telling me that Obama's an alien married to a trans man and turned and and set Hawaii on fire to get eyes off of the fact that he and is destroyed gay. the house that his birth Dude, the papers male ego are. Will make you do wild things. <laughs> Tonight we party, my friends. Sip on mezcal, I like tequila. Damn, this shit tasty. Can you not? I made about a million off a of pibini. I feel like my life is a movie, then it's too easy. Can't catch me, I'm jumping the borders, hit the embassy. It's bag or die. Hey Vincent, I'll get in and go pop out on the Guys, welcome to Dope Dub Comedy. <laughs> The Sunday Morning Smoke Show. Guys, I am your host, Dylan J. Negri. Sitting beside me are two of my best friends and also your co-host. To my left, that's Cavs Out Kev. Cavs Out Kev, baby. What's up? How you feeling in the summer? Cavs Out? Ooh, Cavs Out. Nipple sweaty. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and over there sitting on the other side of the, of the table, that is doesn't own a watch, DC Williams. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Always late, always late. Always oh, late. Bro. How you feeling, DC? How's the week Stay been? on time. The week has been good, bro. Ups and downs, and I'm just, I'm, I'm happy as shit. I'm looking forward to everything in life, dude. Ooh. Guys, we have a, a, a jam-packed episode. Last week, we recorded a park episode for you, and guess what? The... Audio didn't save, so we apologize for that. But we will be filming another bonus episode, bringing back the Patreon every single fucking week. And guys, let's just get on the show on the road. Let's go to our production booth so we can get into these juicy, juicy topics. Because goddamn, we got a full fucking show. So guys, introducing the amazing, the beautiful, the lust lustrous? Is that a word? Illustrious. Illustrious? Illustrious. Natalie DeChico. 50 cent words. What's up? <laughs> 50 How are cent you? words. Oh, wait, I got bars. So hold up. Uh... There you go. Ooh. How you feeling? I just said to David, it's good to be back. Oh hell, I know. It, it, I will say, taking a week off makes you be like, makes you really appreciate this fucking show. Speaking of being back, and speaking of being back, speaking of How feeling good, go. it's David Slash Nikov. Oh, close, close. But that's How good. Up, boy? How, How you doing? doing? Nah, we're good. We're good. I, hey, Jinx. We had be... to stop David from going back to school last week. I know. <laughs> I know he got he got all his donation money. He was yeah. like, "Yo, should we pay for my schooling?" Yeah, I said, bro. "Nah, we need ads." You let the, in case, you in let, case you're wondering what kind of role models we are, you, you let Sally May come after you. <laughs> Yo, I you, said, don't, you don't find Sally May, motherfucker. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you I, let Sally May call you up. Let the niggas you chase you for years, yeah. bro. <laughs> I said this to my girlfriend the other day because I'm the youngest of three. Where I go, yo, I realize David really is like my little brother because he be saying he observes me like a younger brother does i remember saying that shit to my older brother there's right? some youtubers and some people listening to this episode like you're not spooky <laughs> <laughs> somebody looking up to dylan right now <laughs> david Yo, if you're looking this... up to me close your eyes <laughs> <laughs> but get it on this man's from florida he don't make no decisions oh yeah i'm from florida my first car was a dirt bike yo <laughs> <laughs> i one time came at a uh, negative 100 feet in the ocean i told kevin that today yeah, he didn't that believe was... me you came like ejaculated uh yeah I, again I w i've been on a, over 100 scuba diving missions have you really? Yeah. yeah. I swear to God. You I wanted, wanted to be I a marine biologist, bro. I did. I swear really? to God. Really? Yeah. You and didn't notice the, about your friend? And there was one time I was on a dive with like, me and like three other people, and like we all went our own that, separate ways. The marine biologist, real quick, that's something, like, if you say that, even if you're bullshitting as a kid, your parents will support that. Hell yeah. Like, <laughs> especially white parents. Yeah, bro. They're like, oh, for sure. You want to just take them diving bro, bro, all the time. you know the first time, so like, somebody told me they wanted to be a marine biologist was my cousin. First mm -hmm. thing I did was Google that shit. I said, yo, you only going to make 50000 bro. <laughs> we know they don't tell you. You know what they don't tell you about that fifty thousand is you're making fifty thousand salary in Costa Rica, uh, taking people on trips, true. and then white people oh. are like, "Oh my god, thank you for taking me on this experience." Oh. Here's fifty hundred dollars of books, life, yeah. and, and then fifty thousand, fifty thousand dollars in Costa Rica is a good life. So then when he told me that, I was like. Damn, bro, I should have been a Marine by oh, yeah. bro. Instead, you became a Marine. <laughs> uh, army? Uh, nah, nah, I'm not, a, I'm not a crayon eater, dog. Don't ever talk to me like that. All right? Eater. I was, Is that what y'all call them? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I yeah, don't got the yeah, T on that. Yeah, yeah, that's what we call Why Marines. does everyone look down on the Army in the uh, at the Army unit? Huh? Why? I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I was in the <laughs> Army, you know, Oh, who's the crayon eaters? Uh, the Marines, Marines. They call them crayon eaters because really? they're like Why? mutants. No, because they're just, just, these chalk eaters just be doing anything, bro. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> lost. I Yo, thought these chalk eaters. These I, chalk thought, eaters? I thought I thought like the Marines have like you know like like 
retarded amount of strength. I mean, yeah, they, they do. They do. They're exactly. known for that. Which is just, exactly. Oh, like, oh, chalk eaters. Oh, chalk eaters, bro. I'm an idiot. This nigga will bite a table type yeah, shit. Bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he has retarded strength. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like the zo- Yeah, all of them, like, are, like they're the zombies yeah. of Call of Duty. They bro. consider like, you they dumb, right? They just keep coming. <laughs> they just keep showing. They just keep showing up. I thought that was the army. They no. have a dog on meth. Ready to chase you <laughs> down. By the way, that is kind of funny. The Marines are the only people with the su- uh, uh, emotional support animal. Y- bro, Marines are like, God damn, I want to shoot some shit. I Those want, are the people that go yeah, there. I yeah. brought my own gun. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Are you telling me that the Marines are inbreds? I'm not saying they're inbreds. I'm just saying that, you know, they're from places like Alabama, Mississippi, and Kentucky. <laughs> That's the Army talking right That's there. The He's repping for his set. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, guys. This just in. You heard it from Kevin Sanchez. Army, uh, our Marines are slow. I was going to say they are. Chalk again. eaters, crayon um, eaters. Yo, guys, I'm going to start calling people that in my real life. Yeah, like, yo, you a you you chalk eating motherfucker, bro. Because that's the retarded kid in class. Yeah, eating chalk. Yeah, oh, yo, that's, that sounds like a, a, like a female would do that. Like, no. Oh my God, Ronnie, you chalk eating motherfucker. <laughs> You ever see those dumb Theo Vaughn videos? Like, you yes. can play anything before a DJ set. And then, stop putting Theo Vaughn, you fucking hacks. Dude, Every week, I haven't you even put, seen this. You put anything, <laughs> before, seen uh, this. You put, you put anything before a drop in a DJ set, and it's just Theo Vaughn's fucking comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Shout, Shout out Theo Vaughn. I love Theo Vaughn, bro. bro. You know what I mean? Dylan loves Theo Vaughn. Yeah. He, just, he just don't like it to BPMs. <laughs> <laughs> if it's rhythmic, I don't like it. Um, I'm white. Um, so wait, we got a packed show. We got. I'm being real with you. We got a fucking packed show. This 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 show. This episode should be called Lizzo because it's fat. Oh shit, bold and bold. <laughs> it's okay. jam packed with bananas. Lizzo, Lizzo, <laughs> fat and bold. Did you, know, <laughs> did, you know, did you know Lizzo is the only name you have to type in all capital letters? Do you know Lizzo Yo, forced her backup dancers to eat a bananas that came out of someone's vagina? Did you know Lizzo, would, I would stand with her in this argument, but she can't stand? She can't. <laughs> you have to, like, she'd be heavy breathing sitting down. Would you wrestle Lizzo? <laughs> Just like... <sighs> <laughs> would I, would I want to die? Would you, yeah, would you wrestle her? No. Okay. The only problem with that Lizzo, I will say all jokes aside, the only problem with that Lizzo thing was they oh. were like, every, every comedian's making the same hacky joke. Oh, I'm just happy to see Lizzo eating fruit. Oh wow, they making. I've been hating on Lizzo before this incident. Every <laughs> single OG. day of my a life. Fan? Please bro, tell me you became a biggest bro, fan. I saw that she did this to her fan, like her group. Um, her. I saw that the story broke, and I was like, "Yo, I would hang out with Lizzo. She bro, sounds dope as fuck." Bro, you know that she reminded me of that. It was like, "Oh, this is why we hang out with fat girls." In high school, they're bold. They, they were, were funny. mad funny, they were funny bro. As shit. Yeah, that's exactly what she was. Just like, "Yo, eat this." Eat this banana filled pussy. Yeah. Like, you know, but you know, also, also the Lizzo. How do y'all? How is it? Uh, how does it get to lawsuit if a the heaviest bitch is calling you fat? <laughs> like, I mean, the heaviest person in the room is calling you fat. Yo. That's not a. That's not a comedy by in the itself. Way, by like, the way. Uh, that that woman would have forgot that all this happened, but she called her fat. She's like, I can't forget that. Yeah, and like she stuck with, it just stuck with her. And I like how everyone defended people. old body shaming. She can do no fat. wrong, but this same person that you're on the internet calling fat is calling other. She's body shaming other people. Wait, I don't got a problem with that. I, but but that's what I'm saying. This is why it's all bullshit. You know, you know that you know what Lizzo sounds like. like again, well, I'm a hardcore fan base. I, I hate it on Lizzo, but like also she sounds like she's that, talented though. She sounds like that dude, like, like like that dude that you'll be drinking late at night. He'd be like, you know, if your hand's bigger than your face, you have cancer. Bah! Like and just I would drink with Lizzo if Lizzo was like a drinker. Yes, I, that's I, what I, I'm I would saying. Have a, yeah, yeah, I'd have a drink with her. I by hated way, her. By now way, she's dope as fuck. Yeah, by yeah, the way, yeah. she's a drinker. And is she? Of course, bro. Mm-hmm. You think she's and not an eater? drinking? I, I I know she's eating. I'm, I'm by the way, by the way, again, I don't again, even want to make because like of no, course she's eating. Like, again, yeah, yeah, yeah. we make fun. Again, we make fun of Lizzo for the weight. Again, but I, she I, make I don't a, make fun of Lizzo for weight. Wait, wait, everyone, shut the fuck up. If you were hanging out with her, yeah. shut the fuck up. Stop talking wait, over wait, me. Wait, 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 wait. If you were hanging out with her, <laughs> yeah, and she was making fun of her staff, making them eat pussy bananas, and then going to get drunk, and then taking everyone out for a ten, a fucking five star meal at three in the morning, I'd be I, like, I watch that podcast. Dylan, yeah. I watch that podcast. This bitch yeah, rules. yeah, I would too. I'd watch that podcast, the Lizzo podcast, but she treats yeah. you like Diddy. Yo, from <laughs> from making I, like she all, treats all you like cameras are in wide angles. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> the whole camera's in fisheye lens. Yeah. They can never po- they can never post a reel. Yo, you know what's crazy? <laughs> <laughs> they can only do that. <laughs> you know those reels that are like 
turn your camera, your phone now. <laughs> Imagine a story came out of Lizzo, Lizzo was actually just eating all her backup dancers. <laughs> <laughs> like, just fucking. I will say, I will pay, I will pay all the money in the world for a Lizzo and a Gorlock the Destroyer collab. Who's that? You never seen Gorlock the Destroyer? Mm-mm. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, dude, she's the best. You also, if a banana came out of someone's vagina and someone's like, hey, eat that, I'd be like, nah. Well, <laughs> but you, you no, no, no. I would say, but nah, nah, nah. Nah. <laughs> but nah, nah, nah. <laughs> but nah, nah, nah. Yo, that <laughs> joke. Wait, 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 that was good. That was, good. That was so bad that needs to be a clip. Nah, <laughs> but nah, nah, nah. nah but what nah, did you nah, say? Nah. Oh, nah, nah, nah. All right. Oh, my God. All right. All right. Five minutes on Lizzo. Huh? All right. <laughs> Yo, no, I love that she did that it. shit, bro. I Honestly, it's, I'm telling you, I respect her more. But just be oh, that. What is this? That's Gorlock's oh destroyer, God. dude. Oh. What is she destroy? Cox? <laughs> like what? Bro, I want to throw up. Yeah. Oh, facts. I don't want to be I don't want to be mean. She to that looks like camera. a throw up. Ding, <laughs> ding. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm Yo. not laughing. I'm hiding my face. Yo, she, looked like a, she looked like a night out of nine drinks. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, bro! She looked like she spawned from something. Huh? <laughs> Yo, guys, four out of five dentists yeah. have died in her coochie. Ooh. Oh my god! Don't she look like a thumb that got too big? <laughs> oh shit! She looks wow. like she doesn't eat honey. She eats bees. Facts. <laughs> And by the way, we can say all this stuff because we have a representative Ke- from the community. Yo, bro. There, thank I'm you. I'm a fat guy. Come on, bro. This is why we work, bro. No. We're like the cover of a textbook, bro. Get no. bro I'm, I'm telling, telling you, you I'm LGBTQ. We can touch yeah. anything. I'm- He's like fake white. You're like fake fat. Yo. I'm, I'm black, so I get away with everything. <laughs> I'm like that. He goes, I'm just fake. Fake. <laughs> Fake, <laughs> real <laughs> validity. validity, validity. Um, yo, David. Uh, so I had a, I had a main topic for today, and then David told me this as I was walking in. Our producer, David, and um, this is some of the wildest shit I've ever seen. Let's go. Have you guys seen the Obama love letters? Not to talk about, Obama. Bro? None of them were to men. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, DC like, <laughs> yo, bro, you're not gonna ruin my idol. I respect that, bro. I don't even know everything about my idol, bro. Yo, I like Michael Jordan. I saw some. Sh- I, I saw like an article. Jordan. Yeah, bro. I thought Obama. Obama's I, not I Michael saw Jordan. Caption to, to many people, he is. Oh. <laughs> to many people, Jordan and my Obama I'm not lie. are the same. I feel level. you, but don't disrespect Jordan like that. <laughs> oh, especially if these letters are real, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> hey, 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 Jordan six and zero. Obama's eight, you know. Then his oh, brother say, "Man, fuck Obama." Then he tweet that wait, shit. What? His Maybe. brother was like, "Yo, fuck Obama." Wait, man. his own brother said, "Fuck Obama." <laughs> yeah, bro. Not even you, not, not fuck Barack. Fuck yeah, Obama. Man, fuck him, Obama. Him and his lineage. Yeah. <laughs> 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 fuck the yo. Yeah, this shit. If you say fuck Obama, it's not just him. You always say fuck yourself. Said, fuck Barack Obama, dog. Uh, yo, I've actually seen your brother tweet some shit like that, bro. <laughs> you wake up like, bro, what the fuck, bro? Yo, wait, so you guys? My brother texts me shit like that all the time, bro. It's like, yo, go, yo, I just want you to know you should. Go fuck yourself. So you guys haven't seen the love letters? No, no. I've only um, seen a caption on Instagram, and I was like, okay. "Whoa!" So wait, wait, about? ready? So David, do you have them? Yo, how great would it be? Like, yeah. So dear, do you want to read them or do you want to show them? Uh, just I'm just them. gonna, I'm just gonna give the context for just it. Read them. So these letters are from his former, uh, from his ex fiance, right back in the '80s when they were dating. And okay. so he sent this letter to her, and this is what. And there's not the entire letter. There's only just some redacted uh, versions of it. <laughs> but they're from they're like classified Emory. information, right? Bro, now, it's though? it's like stored in a uh, Emory University. They're not leaking the entire thing, but pretty a much a school has it. A school. You no, know it's crazy. It. We were able to find his love letters and not his goddamn birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> Where you from, nigga? All right, so. <laughs> But pretty much one of the things that what says... What the fuck? Wait, hold up. Just make it two screen. Just make it double screen. Let's read. Yeah. Can I read it? Can I read it? Um, or unless David's going to read it. You going to read it? Yeah, can you make it two shot and bring... Oh, uh, fuck. It's going to be... DC, read it. I'm a, all I right, got you. Bring it on the screen. No, have David read it because I want to be able to uh, post a better clip of it. Have 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 David read it. Have David read it. Trust me. Let, 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 let's just react. David got time. one eye. All right. <laughs> <laughs> chill, dog. Chill. Chill. Dog. It's back, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> David shows up every week with one eye, and you're making fun of it. I feel like it's appropriate time now to make fun yeah, of yeah, the yeah. There was never a time. True. That is true. All right, David, go ahead. Tell, um, tell us what these love lovers say. All right. So from uh, Obama's words, in regards to homosexuality, I must say that I believe this is an attempt to remove oneself from the present. Pause. 
<laughs> you got a thought or a pause? Yo, it sounds, and that was funny with him reading and you saying that. It sounds like he's doing uh, what, what's uh, Morse code. He goes, I had homosexual little thoughts. <laughs> pause. pause. <laughs> Go ahead, Go ahead. Yeah. continue, continue. A refusal perhaps to perpetuate the endless farce of earthly life. You see, I make love to men, I make love to men daily, but in the imagination. Double pause. <laughs> Quadruple pause. And then he, later on he says, My mind is androgynous to a great extent, and I hope to make it more so until I can think in terms of people, not women as opposed to men. But in returning to the Yo. body, I see that I have been made a man, and physically in life, I choose to accept that contingency. All so, right, two things. Go yo, for my it. man's mad progressive, yo, what, bro. Yo, uh, Abra Abraham Lincoln has mad the fucking the address. <laughs> Obama has this. <laughs> or fake progressive. Like, why, why did you write that? That was in 1982. Oh, you wrote that in 82? 82. Oh, he I really say, felt like that. I will say. In 82, he felt that way. He goes, yo, homosexuality. He's like, that's just, it feels so good you get to escape. It's like doing drugs. That's what I heard. So that's a. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I heard. I love no, that, but what's bro. crazy? That's what no I heard. Facts, what's bro. crazy yeah, that's though? What he, said. he goes, "Yo, this shit. It, 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 it helps me. It's like a drug. It's, it's a like fix. a drug. It's a fix. Yeah. Like I need a little booty fix. It lets me escape life. Yeah. Man when I think about fix. <laughs> <laughs> Fixing the manhole. Yeah. Okay. David, go. What you gonna say? So, uh, me and my friend were like talking about this two days ago, and we were about the fix, right? <laughs> no, about the letter. <laughs> <laughs> yo, David, his friend was just like, "Yo, man, aren't you feeling what Obama's saying right now? Though? This guy's been a genius since hey, '82. That, that, like, that was like earlier. I was like, "Hey, Ken, have you seen the Obama tape? <laughs> yo, 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 my man. Y'all talking about the fix? <laughs> hey, yo, that'd be a good way. Yo, for the like... fix should be Obama's documentary yo, on Netflix. Yeah, the, the fix. fix. Oh my yo, God. bro, how great would it be if a bunch of gay dudes started using that as a pickup line to fuck straight guys? What? Like you Obama. heard what Obama said about homosexuality. <laughs> That's right? funny. White dudes, too. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, you know what Obama said about homosexuality, <laughs> right? Yo, he it's said it's a complete it, detachment from the com body. From the do, do you, body. Do you think yo, yo, bro, this dude was coming. Do you think hard, Do you think homosexuality was the change that Obama really wanted? Oh. Maybe Obama's trans. Deep Mike dive, drop. deep dive into Obama's psyche. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. up and dying. Add the conspiracy <laughs> theory music. So right now we just found out that Obama is gay, and we. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> <laughs> you better be sure of yourself, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, said you found out Obama was gay. Wait, bro. what happened? <laughs> wait, what did you say? <laughs> Yo, Obama's technically Obama's what never gay, bro. This oh, yeah, podcast the, loves Obama. Oh yeah, the, the oh, yeah, algorithm. Oh yeah, the change. <laughs> oh yeah, he's trans, something like that. I don't know. He's baby. Uh, Yo, he's cool. trying to. He's trying to run for president again again is he really yeah. oh, no no no. he's trying to run from himself yeah Damn. <laughs> you think he's had too much time just hanging God, out eating just... playing basketball i'll tell you what bro i'll tell you what what when, when i told it first. i know now i could be a, a better a better leader uh -huh. i thought you were saying a and better obama i don't know why i because thought of that obama because of my just like me going through life i'm like i could be a better leader in the army mm -hmm. right now i wish i can go back you feel like that's where he's at I think he's like, mm. yeah. If my shit didn't involve death, life and death, mm -hmm. then the only reason, the only, I would do the it. only, the only reason I don't think that was Obama speaking was there wasn't enough, uh, <laughs> not, <laughs> not enough. <pe> <laughs> I he find didn't have that enough funny. periods. <laughs> he was, as a sentences. black man in America, I, funny. I relate. <laughs> it wasn't like they would write his eyes down. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, <laughs> he, he does draw he a lot. Goes, pull it back up. Pull it back up. Can you do it? Can you do the voice? <clears throat> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's coming back. Another viral, another viral. Uh, <laughs> don't do that <laughs> pressure on me, bro. Don't do that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, make a two screen. What we have here. That's JFK. Is that JFK? That is JFK. No. Uh, uh, JFK is sworn secrecy. <laughs> like I am one. not gay. <laughs> <laughs> on this day, July 4th. <laughs> I fucked Marilyn Monroe. I <laughs> did, and I fucked her sister. Right. And then I let my brother fuck her because it was getting weird. <laughs> All, right, this is, All right, here's Obama's press release about his homosexuality. Mm. Cut to it now. Obama, are you gay? Well... Here's the thing. <laughs> well, I don't know if I have. Uh, the, uh, um, what we have, damn, bro, I'm missing. Is a butthole. I'm missing. I'm going to fuck up the pot. A fuggle, a fuggle, a fuggable a bussy. Well. Do you think Obama has uh, ever said bussy? Barack Obussy? I believe Obama said bussy. <laughs> hey, wait, I can't do it. That's the name of the episode. Barack Obussy. <laughs>
Wow. Uh, maybe. Uh, homosexuality. Yeah. Uh, it's good. Uh, keep me absent-minded. And uh, I don't have to think about Michelle. All my children. All right, uh, this country. What? You know what, guys? <laughs> guys, guess what? I just fuck long. I don't really come to That's, That's why, why she's, she's loving me. me. That's the move on. That, that means we've yeah, yeah, yeah. jumped the shark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, can I squeeze something in? One last thing. Ooh, oh, okay. Hey, wait, wait, Obama would love you for <laughs> squeeze something yeah, in. Yeah, he'd love that. Hey, he's back. <laughs> New conspiracy. People saying that oh, B- Michelle Obama was a man. They used oh, to fuck when oh, she was have, a man. I have a homie that believes a that woman. a thousand percent. My homie Mike, a <laughs> oh. thousand percent believes Mike's that black. that that Michelle Obama was trans. He a thousand percent believes it. That's such a crazy bro. It's wild, bro. So, she got good arms though. That's so I, I, I heard that she swims the the, the laps in like four point five. I don't think so. Her that's cheeks. Good, she lap. got round cheeks like a woman. Yeah, she, she, bro. She, I remember. Uh, my I, so what's so funny is that I told my mom about this, and I made up like a conspiracy theory that she almost believed in too. <laughs> so I was like, "Ma, you heard about those love letters, right? Now, if you were president and you and people are finding about your love letters, what would you do? You know, you know what I would do? I'd probably burn down the state of Hawaii. Ha 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 ha! That's funny. Your mom oh. said that. <laughs> no, I did. I told oh, her. Did. Oh, I told her that. Yo. Speaking of Hawaii, yo, you just on, really uh, that's why she's loving me. me. Bro, on to the next. You topic. just drew a parallel, bro. Because I didn't even. I forgot Obama's from Hawaii. Yeah, technically, that is true. also Wait. how the fuck are Matrix uh, Matrix like laser beams coming out of the sky, burning down multiple houses in Hawaii. How? I don't believe that. What are you talking about? Please pull up the clip. Now you, you got the clip, David. Talk you got about the clip. It. Tell us. So there's a clip of razor laser beams emitting from the sky, like we're in a fucking movie, emitting from the sky. Zew, does that to one house? But you remember like the twin towers? You remember when like the the shit flew through it, and then it collapsed? Careful. It burned it like this, and then the thing okay. next to it exploded. <laughs> Walking a thin line here. You can't see where the beam is starting. You can't really see where it ends. You see where it ends on the house destroying, but you don't see where it's coming from. It's just in the clouds, buried. And this these beams look like matrix letters. Like you remember the matrix, the codes that. I gotta see for real. This is real. Yeah, it was on. Some people have been talking about it on TikTok. I feel like a kook. (laughs) (laughs) You <laughs> <laughs> you a tinfoil hat for these bits. I Any, bro, I feel like anytime, cool. anytime you say some shit like that, you do feel crazy, bro. It makes you feel so crazy. Yo, everyone bro. gets silent. She goes, uh huh. Uh-huh. Um, we well, be- like, honestly, thanks for ruining Thanksgiving. I ten- I- <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a good excuse, Wait, right? Look at this shit. This is bullshit, bro. Maybe this it's just Aurora Borealis. What the fuck did you just? I want to see the... Oh, what the what? fuck? Bro, is what that the real? Is that fuck? real? Look, it's going to happen again. Watch. How the fuck are these... Oh, what that's is a replay, that? Easy. And why would it be green like the Matrix shit, bro? Contrast enhance. <laughs> he just added... Bro. Added sa- saturation enhance. <laughs> Zoomed out 10%. That's crazy. You turn Yo, what, what are you talking about the house and shit, though? There's a picture. There's a video of it burning down a house. Like, someone went like this. Siu, siu, siu. And burnt the shit, bro. Like, the, blew it up. Blew it up. Can you can you can I pull that up? It, it was on TikTok. I saw it on TikTok. Um, so it must be real. And I I saw <laughs> I've seen it. People talking about all in the news. And all I'm trying to figure out is why would aliens start attacking now? And is this fake? Is this a fake so attack? You're saying that Obama's an, a trans alien. Oh, who's, oh. Who's, no! Oh, wait, wait, I got it. So you're telling me. That Obama's an alien married to a trans man and turned and and set Hawaii on fire to get eyes off of the fact that he and is destroyed gay. the house that his birth Dude, the papers male ego are. Will make you do wild things. <laughs> Yo, you found that, David? It's okay. Listen, we gotta, DC, DC, you're, you're, you have you're, to see, bro. It's a video cookie. of a laser beam burning a house all down. Right, all right, all right, all right, all right, so all right, all right. Relax, <laughs> relax, <laughs> breathe. <laughs> you fucking psycho, breathe. We're moving on. She's just talking wild, other things. Shut up. Shut um, up that laser beam. I will say, <laughs> yeah. I, I will say though, I'm sorry about everyone that's burning in Hawaii. I'm sorry about all the houses. Uh, I don't know. I don't know much about Hawaii. I'm 25. This bro, is- wait, what? These are pictures from it, guys, guys, so- guys. Guys, it's a straight laser beam, nah, bro. Nah, that's not aliens. That's the last avatar, bro. Bro, that's Ang. Even, the, but that's an alien. Are you a post? Uh, no, he's not. That's real. A green. How, how is a beam disintegrating a a place? That's shit you see in cartoons and movies, bro. What do you think it is? I, honestly, I think aliens are coming on people. No, I, I just uh, sorry. What do you think uh, it is? 
I don't think it's aliens. I think it is the same way they made it look like we did the moon landing. I think it's a fake fake fire. It's a fake um release of aliens. Cause why why would they just attack Hawaii? Just just Hawaii? Hawaii, really? What's happening in Hawaii? For aliens to attack Hawaii, what the fuck is going on in Hawaii? That's like laser beams. I, mean, I don't well, want there to hang is with another him. theory. Listen, man. I, listen, man. What's the other theory? theory? Um, so uh, my girlfriend was telling me this that apparently, um, I is mine. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there's apparently like a bunch of the reason why it's burning down is because a lot of uh, businesses are like companies, like big ass companies, are trying to buy Hawaii out and start building manufacturing shit out there easier. Mm-hmm. So they're leveling it. Well, not leveling, just burning it down so nobody lives there. Burning they, properties and, down. And, yeah. That's what I think about the forest fires in California. I think it's people just trying to build on the land. Listen, I, I'm 25. I don't know much about Hawaii. I've never been there. The only thing I know about Hawaii is Lilo and Stitch. And all I know from this is Ohana Fire. means I'm burning. Yeah. Oh, Ohana? <laughs> yeah. What does Oahu mean? Is that just a place? <laughs> That's what you say when you get burned. Wahoo! Because <laughs> I used to watch Rocket Power, and I was like, Hawaii's fire. Um, oh, I did a fire on Rocket Power. Well, no, no, it's crazy. Is, you know, what's crazy that like Mother Nature really is burning down. All, I mean, we think, I guess, I guess, if Mother Nature is burning down all of Hawaii, that means Mother Nature's Japanese. Bro, I don't understand <laughs> how a laser beam comes out of nowhere. That's I don't understand. It seems like a military <laughs> attack, bro. All right, bro. It could be. DC, you know what I mean? DC, the, 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 the kooky music is cut out. I'm just saying, bro. You done? I can't talk to Kevin about it. He gaslighted you about the military. I, I, can, I told you not to use the word gaslight. It triggers me as a Jew. Oh, does it really? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what about... I don't really come quick. That's why she's loving me. Now shut up after I do the transition, please. Yes, you folks did reinstate their sponsorship. Oh, hi. Just supporting my baby here. Sorry. Uh, guys, go support Zia Farms because they support Dope Dub. If you don't know this already, I have a real sanctioned fight in Las Vegas. And Zia Farms is the sponsor of that fight as well. They do topicals, ointments, stuff to make your body feel all good. So guys, go to zefhemp.com. One more time, that's zefhemp.com. And go support Zia Farms. Go follow them on the Instagrams. Go follow them in person. It doesn't matter. Guys, Keep hanging out with us and keep enjoying. Let's get back in the pockets because this little baby won't stop nobody. God damn it, DC. God damn it. It's Listen, man, you can't invite someone who's a tin hatter and expect them to follow the rules. I mean, that's it's it's, it's conspiracy theories. It's what's going to get you. Aliens um, are going to fuck your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but have you guys heard about this Travis Rudolph story? No. Do you know who Travis Rudolph is? Yes. Are oh, you talking the blindside shit? No, oh. no. <laughs> okay. No. I heard about that. He You're got no racist. money from that. <laughs> I heard um, about that shit. So, no, the Chinese Rudolph, Rudolph story is on uh, on June 7th, he was um, acquitted of murdering and potentially shooting three other guys. He's an ex um he's an ex NFL player. He was on a uh, I'm trying to think. Of it. He was on. Oh, um, I heard about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he was on the Giants. He was on the Giants in 2017. Mm-hmm. He's actually, if you don't know, he's the guy that went viral for sitting down with a kid. Um, Who had in Ta- or something? Yeah, in, in Tallahassee. That's him right there. So he was on the Giants in 2017, and um, months later, he like shot three dudes, killed one of them. But the story gets deeper. This dude's girl set him up, and bro, there's a video of him partying. With the girl's brother, the day like, like, like earlier in the day before mm-hmm. it happened. You have the video. That's the dude to the left. That um, that is dead. Um, his girl, his um, his girlfriend uh said that they had a fight, and she texted her boy um her uh, brother, and was like, "Yo, go shoot up his shit." And then she admitted in court that she smashed his PlayStation and called him a broke bitch. Mm-hmm. And then, like, um, then she claimed she goes, sorry, I have it right Athletes here. Athletes attract the worst women, bro. That's true. That is very true. I think just being rich does. What does um, she look like? Can you show her? Oh, my. For this bitch? Mm-hmm. Oh, I've been heard about this, bro. She's trying to set up the guy to get beat up his brother. And her brother, uh, I mean, her boyfriend, her boyfriend ended up smoking these niggas. Yeah. Yeah. And she is a psychopath in court talking about how Thank you. she no. didn't know this was going to happen. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And she's with someone. And yeah. she got mad at him for fucking someone else. And she's in a whole relationship. Yeah, she was. she's talking to someone else, dude. 
And then and she's in court, mean, she claims, she goes, someone said, uh, isn't the moral of the story that you set a man up to die? She goes, no, the moral of the story is him putting his hands on me. Which never and happened. And that's really the basis of everything. Like, no, motherfucker, someone died. That's, that's, that should be the basis of everything. Wait, her your bro- your her brother, brother died. died. Her brother, di- brother got shot. Got shot because they, they ran up on him. She sent people to Bro. run up on him and he killed him. He smoked him, him yeah. Yeah. So she's In one, Florida, too. Is wise. She's, so he's standing his ground. Yep. Is wise. Well, she's one of these women to be like, uh, like she don't even feel bad her brother's dad. She don't. She's yeah. psychotic. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, yo, he defended my honor. And look at her. She thinks she deserves an NFL player, which is crazy. <laughs> which is what, crazy. Well, That's he what you're was mad weird. about? No, he was smashing. You had a husband. She has a husband, bro. Oh, she has a whole yeah, situation yeah, yeah. going on, and he's he got or he chose to leave her for a side piece, or she got mad he fucked someone else. That's how possessive, insane, and jealous this bitch is. You're in a yeah. whole relationship mad about a dude fucking someone else, but you're fucking someone else, and you're in a situation, and then you got people killed, and you still don't feel like you're guilty. Bro. I thought this would make you way more mad. I just... Well, I the read, apathy's crazy. I read, I read about the story a while ago, yeah, I and I just like I was like I could I always try so hard to remove myself from those people, like those were people I grew up around. Like you could feel the chaotic energy, mm-hmm. and you'd be like, oh, this person will let everybody in this room die right now, yeah. and not feel a thing about yeah. it. Yeah, it's a scary situation, man. But I thought that shit was listen. Sick. He was acquitted on self defense charge, of course. So yeah, hey, but, guys, Florida. And not only is he acquitted on self defense charge, he's not in any wrong. He's a single dude smashing chicks, and you're in an, a girl involved with someone. Mad that he smashed at someone else or got someone else pregnant, whatever it was, which is insane. Like a, did, did he just added in facts there. He got someone pregnant. He was on the moon. No, uh, I've been going. He burnt down Hawaii, bro. This shit is. It's, she burnt down Hawaii because of that, <laughs> bro. This shit is wild, bro. She was scorched earth. Scorched, scorched earth. earth. That is what that's. Yeah, she's she, she's called scorched earth. That's All right, really that's it. I don't like getting passionate about topics. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I love when you get passionate about <laughs> topics. All right, let's get into plug music. Let's do some plugs. Let's do some plugs. And then after plugs, I'm going to make my friends eat weird shit. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Because know why? You mean free shit. (laughs) (laughs) DC, you know how I know you can't? You you don't have a job. You don't care what it tastes like. You're like, it's snacks. (laughs) It's nourishment. It's food. (laughs) No, but, um, guys, please continue to follow at Duped Up Comedy. Uh, We posted a video about Kanye West, uh, DC, doing a hilarious impression. And uh, Instagram got very mad at us. So, guys, please go to our Instagram, share our stuff, like, comment, share it to your friends because we're right now 100% shadow banned. Like, mm-hmm. they sent me a message and said, we aren't showing your stuff to other people. Then sent me a message and said, nope, never mind. We are. We changed our minds. But they still haven't reinstated our it, – it, 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 it's bullshit. But we guys, love you guys. We love the people. Yeah, bro. We've been, we've been growing. We also just hired not one but two – new clip editors so guys there's gonna be clips pretty much every fucking day coming up so guys make sure you go follow um us on facebook instagram tiktok youtube um i think you're going with me there um but guys go follow us everywhere and uh, natalie's back to posting long clips every week so we have those we have the podcast we got more free time and i know we say this and um we said it in an episode that was kind of unreleased last week but bro we're trying our hearts out uh we ain't got no jobs this is our job and we're we're going full 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 into this. So guys, thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for being a part of the journey. Last Thursday of every month, doped up comedy. This month, the thirty first, the stand, stand. guys, main room, main room, the best food, the best comedy, and you get a free joint with every show. Come see the boys, come hang out, come party. And guys, if you're not already, go follow me at Dylan J Negri on everything as well. Go follow me on Facebook. That I'm growing there very nicely. It's just a lot of uh, me and the white guys on Facebook, huh? We just, it's okay. Um, <laughs> But guys, go follow me, go follow the podcast, and go support us live. And I'm gonna kick it off to my boys, Kevin, boop boop Sanchez. Yo, what's popping? Brand Thank new whip just hopped in. You already know what time it is. But anyway, uh, <laughs> you can find me at Kevin Sanchez Valid on uh, Instagram. Uh, what was my other? Are, shit? You, are you doing an Obama impression? Uh, <laughs> follow me. On you want? You want? You want? Valid you want to say the, Instagram? Just say social media apps. Just uh, say any social media app that you know. Grinder. I, I almost got it. Yeah. And, uh, Follow, uh, subscribe, follow, comment, share with a friend. All right, motherfuckers, yeah. And, yeah, whatever the fuck he said. DC? DC? Uh, DC Williams Comedy. Gave up. Instagram. Um, 
check me out like follow subscribe keep listening to doped up i got more stand-up clips coming your way we got more sketches coming your way and Can someone um, please send us a custom made tin hat for fucking dc yeah yeah, yeah. i need a tinfoil hat all day um tin yeah man uh, the shit's fucking you guys are awesome and Aww. Aww. <laughs> yo we got a show at the end of the month last thursday of the month every um, month every month at the stand come through this one's going to be very very special we're going to be hosting the fuck out the show and we'll see you guys soon we'll see you guys soon guys let's throw it to the booth again natalie ice our producers <laughs> gotta shout out the producers shout out the people that hold you up because if you're not shouting out the people that hold you up motherfucker then you're gonna be let down mm. bars. bars that one hold on hold on bars hold on hold on run. Bye, DC. <laughs> Bye, DC. <laughs> Natalie DeChico edits on Instagram, D-E-C-I-C-C-O. Watch Gas Digital now on YouTube. When you, Every time you say your last name, it sounds like Jay-Z rapping. Like, he would say, like, D-I-C-C-O. Like, do 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 <laughs> Jay-Z in the booth. I don't know. That was more like someone else. That was like, I don't know. Oof. Oh, wait. Uh, well, this is to David. Oh, oh, boo. All right, David, you get no music. Do it silently, you dumb bitch. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I didn't mean that. Oh, is it? Oh, now I'm talking. All right. Um, you go follow me at David Clash 47. That's Clash with a K on Instagram and everywhere else. Yeah, I'll start saying your name regular again because it'd be really shitty if you lose followers because I keep saying Slash every week. They're like, I can't find his fucking Instagram. David Slash 47. It's David Clash with a K. K K K. Got it. K K K K K. All right. Let's get into the hell yeah I deck bitches. Chris Brown. Rest of the podcast. Oh, <laughs> Why did I hit that drop? Who knows? Um, Kev. Yo. You you, how you been? What what did you what did you send me? What did you send me? What today? I send you? Oh yeah, send me. Oh, <laughs> yo, do that again. We'll go viral. <laughs> um, oh, you said you did some cowardly shit. Ooh. Oh, yeah, bro. Uh -huh, I sometimes uh, we I said was, the question. I was ch chilling with a homie, right? Mm -hmm. And I noticed I was doing some shit. I was doing some real coward shit. Like I was telling this story and I was telling this theory I had about mm -hmm. something. Super ignorant, but it was like <laughs> a theory I had yeah, about yeah. cultural appropriation. Yeah. And the whole time I'm talking about this shit, bro, I keep prefacing everything I'm saying. Like, I know I'm dumb. I know I'm stupid. Oof. Gaslight I, yourself. Like, and I'm like, yeah. yo, I don't even feel that way. You're talking like yeah. a white girl out of college. Yeah. yeah. Where like. I wish they talked more like that. Actually, to themselves. I wish they would call themselves stupid. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes they do, but it's that thing. But then I, I noticed that I was being some like, oh, I'm just, I didn't want them to realize I didn't know I was stupid. But right? It also seemed like you, you were trying like I was to. I trying to get ahead of it. Yeah, you were trying to communicate in the way that society communicates today, which is like, I'm not trying to step on your toes. This is not gospel, by the yeah, way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, which is like an annoying way to talk. But also, just listen to me. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. just, yeah. yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah. know. Maybe I'm wrong, but yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me and this girl do? was talking. She mm. was like, uh, she was saying some shit like, she goes, oh, what do you feel about cultural appropriation? Do you think that's right? Oh I have no idea why she brought this Hot shit up. Button topic. And I was just like, I was talking. I'm like, dog, that shit is the most flattering thing ever. Yeah. Yeah. If motherfuckers is culturally appropriating, that means they love your motherfucking culture. Yeah, America's built on cultural cultural appropriation. Yeah. Yeah. Like you sell versions of your culture to America Look at that What are, do people always say? Like, um, like uh copying you is flattery? What is it? But like the only way to make money is trading. Like Indian food, you buy it because mm -hmm. you're not Indian. Like, you know what I'm saying? A Jewish a kosher food, you buy it because you're not Dominican food, you buy it because you're not, you know what I mean? Whatever it is, it's like you're only selling like, pieces of your culture. Trading trading lockers for plantains is pretty dope. Trading lock. Oh, <laughs> lock is fire though. Locks so, on a bagel is fire. Plantains are fire. Like I said, lockers, but yeah. Oh, what are lockers? Is that potato shit, right? Well, potato cakes. Yes. Uh, you don't know what lockers? No, no, no lockers no, no, no. is fire. I you said locks. I was like, I love a lock. Cream, cream cheese. That shit is fire, bro. Locks is sex. Bro. Um, y'all ever like do that shit like where you're like, yo, like I guess it's called gaslighting yourself. Yeah, sure it is that. gaslighting yourself. But like, y'all do that shit to this day. Well, like, I like that, how, I like that you were calling yourself stupid to her, so you can, like, <laughs> even in your own head, be like. If they think I'm stupid, it's not, I told them I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a disclaimer. It's a disclaimer. Yo, bro, it's, a, it's a safety net. It's it a also, safety net. It's, a, it's, a, it's an emotional safety net. I felt mad disgusting with myself. Yeah, I'm yeah. With myself. Speak with conviction. Don't yeah. not not doubt. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm yeah. over here. Listen, you know, I've been around too many white girls, bro.
Yeah, you're, yeah, just, yeah. You're, you're being too honest. I'm just checking myself. I don't know where yeah, your boundaries are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is weird because, you know, again, like white girls will like always say shit that you're like, what? You didn't have to say that. Like I've said this before where I was like, I was dating an older girl and we were on a plane one time and she just looked over and she and uh, she paid for the ticket. Like I should be happy that she paid for it. And she was an older chick. And I was just and she just goes, uh, you know, you used to be able to smoke on these. <laughs> And I was like, why would you ever say that to me? She's like, joking. I think she's just like, hey, I'm so much older than you. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I hope. Yeah. It made my dick soft. <laughs> wow. So it wasn't a good joke. You never really. fucked an older woman while she smoked a cigarette? <laughs> she puts that out on you. Yeah. Puts it out on her pussy. <laughs> so that's the only way she can come? <laughs> it's wet, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> you did that. It's you wet, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. You did that. Clip it. <laughs> Send it to the fucking tapes. Oh my god! Send it to the arsenal. Right, it's hard dating older woman, bro. It's, it's hard. Is. You think it's hard? It's hard. I dated older woman, bro. They say weird. By the way, <laughs> they say the type of shit, bro. That like you go like, yo, you should keep, you should have stood with your first husband. Yeah. I remember one time I, I remember you one stay time. with your baby daddy's kids. I remember you one see? time my ex, who was an older woman, was like, "Why wow, your your dick gets hard all the time." Yeah, yeah. Like, often, yeah. yeah like, very, very often. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <It's hard. laughs> I don't ever look me in the eyes while we both lick our lips and mm-hmm, the penis. Agree on the wood. <laughs> right, oh, let's get God. into our let's get into our next segment. Yeah, what we got? This next um uh, this next segment, this next bit is um me making my friends eat weird things that they don't want to eat. Uh Kevin hates seafood, selfish, anything that comes from the ocean. Uh, DC. I don't. I think you don't really. You just don't eat red meat. He doesn't even like his girlfriend's clam. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> a very, a very clam heavy episode. Bro, that's the only tuna I eat. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What's a fat white girl smelly pussy called? What? Clam chowder. Oh, Jesus Christ, damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I got these snacks here that I want to make. Um, this is called Gas Digital has weird snacks and we're using we're eating them for free. Oh uh, no, but I'm prawn making cocktails. my friends eat Fire. prawn cocktail Pringles Fire. and shrimp cracker chips. I What's so funny? I, I don't like anything from the sea. You hit everything, right? I don't like nothing from you the sea. You don't like Poseidon? All right, all right. What? what? Poseidon, You're talking the about Greek a god, god right now? Yeah. Right. I'm talking about food wise. Kevin, since you hate it so much, which one do you want to start with first? I'm gonna start off with the with the already open shit. With the roach from <laughs> Can the Can I give you a tip? Yep. Start with this one or No, Kev should eat the other ones. This one? Yeah. We're gonna eat them both. Oh. Yeah, hey, well, we're gonna go through them both. Yeah. By the way, both flavors oh, fire, then, Natalie. Uh, pro- proceed then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you see? This is really for Kev though, because I like this shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Oh, wait, 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 everyone wait. <laughs> Funky. Oh my god, it smells like Vag almost or what? I wasn't gonna no. say it. You were gonna kinda say it. <laughs> I was gonna say it. <laughs> it smells like you ever have a goldfish? Like that, that the dies. food that they that dies. Oh, it does smell mm. like that food. Oh, that's also shrimp. Alright. All right. Like oh, by the way, look at Kevin's face. He's Kevy, why why are you letting him do this to you? Honestly, you know fire. Wait. Honestly, fire. Wait. You know what? Honestly, fire. These are kind of good. Wait, yeah, yeah, let me see wait, that bag. Wait, cut to me. Let me see good that bag real quick. No, good you want to be sponsored by China. Yo, this shit tastes like bacalao. Bro. <laughs> no, you want to be sponsored by China. You saw the rock? They had like a gun to his head when he does promo. <laughs> bro, this shit tastes like bacalao from the Puerto Rican Bacalao, bacalao. What's bacalao? Codfish. Codfish. Mm-hmm. Hey, yo, That's pause. also what Dominicans call bad stinky pussy. Bacalao. She got that bacalao. Really? A Dominican dude at a show told me that. Randomly no more pussy audience. smelling jokes. We've hit, <laughs> we've hit our cap, bro. Yeah, right. Nah, you can't be the only one to have a pussy smelling joke, bro. Pussy smelling No, joke? I think we all hit one at one point. I don't mm-hmm. think you have. I think DC's hit 17. Yeah, and then you went to bacalao. It's my favorite joke. Yo, you got that bacalao. <laughs> These are like... Wait, so, okay. All right, so, not gonna lie. Shrimp crackers... Pretty good. Ten out of ten. They're pretty good. Mm-hmm. Everyone good? Yeah. I love small white dicks. No, I'm kidding. Shrimp crackers, get it? Buddy, uh-huh. Flip buddy. that out of context. Ramp it, ramp it, ramp it, ramp it. You're, you're capping out the bad <laughs> jokes. Come on, man. I like seven. Um, more. so all right, on to the next one. Prawn cocktail Pringles. Also fire. I wonder. Realize something. What? You're stealing this bit from my show. If you want to see me and Mike eat those snacks from. Like, <laughs> <couple weeks ago. laughs> I brought those in when I went to Ireland. I knew I knew someone got them from overseas. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, so, hold on. These are apparently only exclusive in Straight Ireland. Straight out the UK. I just want to cut out Natalie doing that, so when she sees the clip, she's always like, "Dude, what the fuck?" <laughs> um, those are gonna be way more. Fire everyone than the first ones. 
They smell I, like... I already don't like it. Really? I can smell it. Nah. It's too vinegary. Vinegar? Vin- nah, I love vinegar. I didn't say you going you're not gonna like it. I said, also, I'm no one edited that to say. Uh-huh. Mm, not as good as these because they had shrimp cocktail sauce on it. I feel they're trying to do that. But I would body those if I was high. If you're high, which one are you bodying? <sighs> not Lizzo. Um <laughs> You wouldn't body Lizzo, bro? Nah, I would I would hang out with her. Okay, so these taste more like ketchup chips from Canada. Mm. Those taste more like shrimp. If I was I'll be real with you. These are good, but I just shrimp. want them These to be. Shrimp? I just want them to Those be ketchup shrimp. Well, trips. Prawn, which is the big shrimp, is what they call this prawn. Prawn's like the black cock of the sea. This it's a little, most, bit, it's a little the, bit thicker and bigger than all the other ones. This is the most seafood <laughs> I ate ten years. Damn, bro. Came in a chip. You, don't like no you want to try again? You never had no. mahi? No. I never. I don't think I've ever heard someone say mahi singular. I think it's mahi mahi, Yo, and I've never seen anyone be like, "You never had the old mahi." Mahi mahi sounds like a, a seafood place in Florida. My lord. Let's not be the I mean, annoying it's, podcast it's a, that eats crunchy shit. The I mean, whole it's time. A, what podcast? All right, all right, I'm actually I'm, again. I want these to be ketchup chips. They taste like anything. I'm gonna give this an eight out of ten. It's the prong sauce. Eight out of ten. Do, eight? Yeah, eight out of ten. I'm giving them a seven. The lays, lays makes them better. Okay. But also, 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 Nat. Fire. <laughs> Thank you. you. Know? Thank the you. The prawn chips was all right. They were all right. They were like a good seven. And then the shrimp crackers. The shrimp crackers was like Busted. surprisingly good. Would you eat any of these again in your free time? Not in my free time. I'll eat them again. <laughs> I'll eat them again right now. <laughs> You're a piece of shit, dude. <laughs> I will say so the shrimp ones no, I got eating, from Ireland, and then the other ones I bought literally from the bodega yesterday. <laughs> We're idiots, bro. You said you said sponsored by China, dude. You're sponsored by New York Deli on the corner. No, you know the one, the Asian one. Oh yeah, oh Sunny and Annie's. Yeah. So, gotcha. like like DC said, sponsored by China. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Xi Jinping. Oh, should the algorithm would like that? <laughs> oh, dude, that's. I don't think they're that bad. I'm, I'm into it. Good. I'm into one, bro. Yeah, I'm into it. DC, what you been up to this week? Um, this week I have been performing. I've been watching my videos. I've been I did a couple of sets. I did no material. I was just trying to see what I could come up with and um Yo, see we points say, I missed. When we say what you were doing this week, I'm talking not about not at all what I wanted. Oh, but that, that that's what I've been doing. That's this it. Week. That's, that's what, what I've been doing this week. Apart from that, I've been sleeping, doing push-ups. Um, been writing. I've been writing a little bit. I I've been jotting a lot of shit down. Quick. That's why she's, she's loving me. me. So yeah, I heard uh, yeah. Bryce James had a bodyguard uh, situation. David, you yeah. wanna go into that? I got super funny last week. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've, been, I've been working on my craft and shit. I don't know what y'all busy doing, man. <laughs> Yo, DC. By the way, I'm serious. You are the, one of the most, most annoying people because I saw you yesterday at 10 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Agree that you, I was gonna see you at eleven. You text us at twelve that you just woke I text up. You at one p.m. You text us at okay. You text us at one p.m. that you just woke up. You said you're gonna see me at eleven. You text us at one that you woke up. You text us at three that you're leaving. You text me at four that you're walking there, you, and then you get there at six. Four, dude. Got there at four thirty. <clears throat> the five train was doing shit. I've never seen it do. <laughs> I swear to God, bro, this shit stopped at 18th Street, and I was so mad. Can the bro. Five Train uh, co-host a podcast with us? Because I would love to have it here. Yo. It, it, honestly, yes. Because what happened? <laughs> I, I had my coffee on the floor. Coffee on the train. This homeless dude comes in, walks with like, "Yo, can I have it? Can I have it?" I was like, "No." <laughs> and I felt bad, but in my head, I'm like, "What the fuck do you need Wait. coffee for, my guy? What you gotta be up for? Yeah, bro. Like, what you need energy for? But what you need the extra boost for, fam? You don't think a man? Bro, look, you should you be asking. Think, you don't think a man in his position? Is trying to like not. Yeah, I will say this. I'm gonna help start, himself out. I, I will start handing Get out some energy. I I want to start handing out homeless people melatonin and be like, "Yo, bro, sleep it off." This nigga's stupid. Yo, so sleep it off. Stupid, bro. <laughs> Write it down. It might, it might not be. The, it might be that you're not getting eight hours, bro. Here you go. <laughs> That's how you go viral and get canceled in the, the same, same month, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I yo, he I didn't. Funny I, I didn't. <laughs> that he's gonna feed homeless people melatonin. Yeah. Yo, actually, I'm happy you said homeless person. And I said this to Kev. I didn't want to say this on the podcast, but we got time to kill. You ran out of all topics and shit? I mean, uh, I, I, uh, we got one more in the deck, but you you said uh, the homeless people. Not... So I got a ticket the other week for jumping the turnstile Respect, in bro. New York City. And then a couple days later, uh, I think I took a picture of it because it's a couple days later, dude. Hey, if you ball it, sometimes you get fouled. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you get fouled. 
<laughs> hey, yo, once you between them lines, son, <laughs> ain't no telling what's going to happen, dog. You know what's funny? I could tell the police that were giving me the ticket didn't agree with it because they didn't make eye contact. Mm. Yeah. And I was like, bro. Did I ever tell you what happened to me? Wait, wait, let me finish. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Bro, a couple days later, I wasn't paying attention, and a dude was um, asking for money, and I was like, well, I did just get this ticket. Like, I want to be like, I want to do good and do good for Hashem. So this guy's outside, outside at McDonald's asking for money, and I wasn't really looking. <laughs> I was like trying to do it cool. And I'm, I, I haven't been able to find the ticket in my wallet. I think I might have given it to the homeless guy. This guy right here, bro. Can take care of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, Yo, like, look like panhandling going well for so you, dog. So two of those bro. things happen, bro. One time, this kid, I literally just bought a Lucy from the bodega. I'm smoking it. He, he's asking me for a cigarette. I'm like, nah, I'll let you hit this a couple times. He starts telling me how... My mom abused me and kicked me out the house. Uh, I told the cops I was doing X, Y, Z. I'm looking for a job right now. I got nowhere to stay. And I was like, damn, bro. I was like, and I told him, yo, you ever tried X, Y, Z, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? Different jobs, whatever. And I was like, all right, keep it. I let him hit it. I walked away. So then I put my hand in my pocket. I was like, damn, I felt mad bad. I walked up, I put my hand in my pocket. I was like, oh, I took this nigga's lighter. <laughs> the only thing this nigga had left, probably, bro. Did you turn around? I, no. Why? I got on my train, bro. I was I was going downtown, and I was just like, bro, I got to go, bro. You know, you gotta go, and you I just, go. I got like a block and a half away, and I was like, oh, I took this you, nigga's what, what lighter. You, what By you, the way, that what, is, what sorry. did you have to do after that? What I, I was head, I forgot why I was heading downtown, but I was heading. Yeah, it's down- some shit that wasn't even memorable. You could have turned around. It was remember. I just I needed to go. I was already way, late. That is the chronicle of being friends with DC. Also, it's Son. being like, yo, bro, I'm down bad. Appreciate you, DC. Walking away, and going, fuck, DC. <laughs> Damn, I just took all of this nigga's money <laughs> on accident, bro. Like that shit was wild. Yeah, dude. Have you ever seen the guy that I traded a paper clip into a house? He could have made that something. He yeah. Took, he took the only shit he could barter with. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, and I used his lighter to light my cigarette. living like a pirate and you stole, Bro, you stole wait, from him. Would, would you say earlier, I wanted to bring up something. Oh, you, what, a lot you, of things. No, right no, you had a story like just now, like two minutes ago. What, what, what'd you say? He was talking about um. Steve wasn't even listening, bro. I was, I was. I'm just trying to bring it back because okay. I smoked too much. Oh no, I was just saying about how I give a homeless man a ticket. Oh, I told you a cop didn't give me a ticket. He was like, "Yo, why you ain't pay for a ticket, bro? Why we ain't pay for a metro uh, pass?" No, no, yeah. I was like, "Oh, I thought it was free today." And he started laughing, and he's like, "Yo, I'm not gonna give you a ticket, bro, because you made me laugh." And I, then I was like, "Yo, come to doped up comedy." He was like, "Stop." <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Nah." <laughs> and I just kept no, it's, moving. No, it's crazy, bro. <laughs> I've always heard the stories of comedians being like, "I got pulled over, and I told him I'm a comedian. I did some jokes, and I got out of it." I 100. I didn't tell you guys this. Started telling them that I did comedy and started doing jokes for my the two cops. Cops, never made eye contact. I just bombed in front of two cops and got fined a hundred dollars. <laughs> I was gonna say they charge you more yeah. money. Yeah. <laughs> they gave you two tickets. Said, hey, yo, we we showing up to your court date. Yeah. I'm gonna recommend you do time, bro. They both. I wish I had a, a sad guitar. Can I have like a? I can't believe they let me go for that shit. I was like, God damn, I gotta start. Like, I wasn't even trying to be funny, bro. I was like, just think of a dumb excuse, bro. I yeah. thought it was free today, and these things yeah, just laugh, bro. Got, I can't believe I got fined for being. Bad. It's pretty awesome though. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking boundaries, bro. <laughs> um, nah, dude, that sucks. Um, but uh, you guys, you mean, uh, David? I saw this video. Let's get to it. Let's get to this, and then we can get the fuck out of here. Um, what we got? Bryce James. Nice name. Bodyguards are not it. Have you seen this video? No. Bryce James, if you don't know, is LeBron James' youngest son. Oh, okay. And he was at Target, just being a person. What? Roll what? clip. What? What? No, no, no. Wait. Target being a person. No, he needs a better. No, <laughs> he needs a better bodyguard. Bro, I'm a huge fan, bro. Can I please get a pic, bro? Uh, yeah. Please, bro. Thank you. That's the one that's not playing, right? You got it. Yeah. One more. Take one more. Too much, a little, little bit, a little bit too much banging, too much banging. <laughs> hey, yo, are you gonna do anything? Are you gonna do anything? <laughs> Real blood, you can throw a blood. Yo, we ain't doing none of that. Yo, he's a street troll. Yo, look how he's troll. holding it. Look yo, how he's holding his hands. This nigga's a street troll, bro. Yo. I O G. <laughs> uh, uh, it was get me out of hey, here, bro. You, bro. Appreciate you for He's being an idiot, bro. Like, bro, I'm out to lose again. endorsements because you're throwing up gang signs, bro. No, I don't think that kid cares about that, but damn, he I definitely that, cares about that. No, he, that's not his fault, bro. His father's definitely let him know. Hey, bro, stupid people like that. No, that bodyguard do- is gonna get his ass chewed up. Yeah, yep. fired probably. Right I got yeah, that probably dude, gonna get fired. 
Yo, bro, he was ah. Uh, <laughs> but what do you do? You become a famous comedian. Someone takes a picture. Yo, Kev, I love you from East Harlem too. Starts banging his shit, bro. If he start throwing banging his sets, set. <laughs> like like for too long, like that, like for too long. For too long, I'd be like, Yo, bro, what you doing? <laughs> You'd say something to him, yeah, or would you just walk out the picture? Oh, uh, honestly, I look at my bodyguards. Like, are you are you dumb? <laughs> Is you stupid or you dumb? Why am I paying you? Yeah. I look at him like, yo, yeah. my man. I, yeah. I turn to the Dame Dash quick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> get this to, nigga out of here, yo, bro. Get, hey, yo, my man, get this motherfucker get out this of nigga here, out. I'm not trying to lose my Crocs endorsement <laughs> <laughs> because you want to be blood, bro. Like, no, nah, I feel that. I feel that, bro. That shit fine, bro. That shit fine. Yeah, bro. I don't know. I don't know. He looked uncomfortable. You know what's crazy, bro? He did look uncomfortable. He looked mad uncomfortable, bro. You know what? Well, he handled old. that well for a kid who's like probably he not did, able to go to The best target. thing what he did was was try to not react. Because he looked off to the he, left and it was just kind of like, bro, is this I, guy done he was scared. ruining he was, my life? You can see the whites in his eyes. Though, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I didn't go to the bathroom. We're ending on my last topic and or bit for this episode. Yes, ready? Okay. Kevin, you'll be my subject. Can you come sit over here? Sit like sit on there. Something gay is about to happen. I need everything out of your pockets. Everything? I, it, it, if you don't have anything out of your pockets, you could get hurt. This ain't got okay. mad shit okay. in his pockets. This <laughs> 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 what? what? Hey, hey, what? Hey, <laughs> Wait, <laughs> why do you have some... <laughs> All right, bro. Is that a mask? <laughs> His passport? Yo. Mad business cards? Are you done? You done? Okay. 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 Hold up. Oh my okay. god. Okay. Yo, why do you have a mask? COVID's over, you fucking idiot. Okay. 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 You put this so it covers your eyes. You're not allowed to see during this. Okay. No, no, no. Put the hat on you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not gonna lie, I wasn't sure he was supposed to. Like, how, how to do? I don't know, man. We don't have my head that big, dog. So yeah, there you go. All right, can you do it? You're not allowed to look this entire time. Now, of your nose, I need it like. A... Come sit over here now. So the, the audio can hear you. Feel the chair out, bro. Please don't miss the chair. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. All right, just keep your eyes closed. If you see, it ruins everything. All right, look that way. Put your arm out this way. Put your arm out right. No, no, I'm not, not doing anything weird. Put, make a fist so people don't think it's like racist. Bro, don't take your dick out, bro. No, 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 I, no, no, okay, no, no, okay, no, no, okay. no, 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 I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Okay, Kev. Yeah. Do you trust me? Sure. I promise you. I I, I don't want to hurt you, so we gotta do this. We gotta do this correctly. So. What you doing, bro? What you doing, you bro? Smell that, right? You feel that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, that's ice. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck just happened, bro? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> it was supposed to feel like uh, it was burning, but it was ice. Oh. oh, my bad, bro. Did I ruin it? Oh, my it. That's the podcast. <laughs> For the streets. See you guys oh. next week for more <laughs> the army. curated oh. fun. Leave a comment of what do you want to You thought I wouldn't know the difference between fire? I was abused as a child. <laughs> I got stomped out by my mom. Yo, yo. I got stomped out multiple times yeah. by my mom. <laughs> Teachers used to have to stop calling the house. They're like, I know you got your ass beat Jesus last night. Jesus Christ, bro. That is sad. It's so sad. It makes me uncomfortable, actually. I have mad shit in my pocket. <laughs> you have a lot of things in your pocket, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm not going to hold you. Uh, guys. Follow Doped Up Comedy. We'll see you next week. Peace.